Hey what's up guys, it's Icy from the PD team. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a sneaker server on Windows. So basically there's a ton of providers that you can use such as uh, Google, Volter, and Amazon Web Services. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how to do it on Google Cloud as there's already a lot of tutorials on Volter and anyhow it's pretty much the same um, across every provider on how you're going to be setting it up. Also another reason is that I like Google Cloud because pretty much the first time you sign up you're going to get a $300 uh, credit and you won't be charged until either a year after that date or until you use all $300 of that credit and I myself haven't even used um, even a third of that and I've been using sneaker ser this sneaker server provider for a long time. So yeah, head over to whichever provider you're going to be using. Um, for us it's Google Servers. Just click on the first link that comes up. Um, here, if you don't have an account already, um, you're gonna have. To, it's gonna say like try Google Cloud Provider, or up here it's gonna be like create an account. Just create an account, go through the normal sign up process. It's really easy. And once you've done that, come back here, head over to your console. Once you get to your console, at first, I'm sure it's gonna look confusing, but it's really not. Um, you don't really need to worry about much of the stuff that's in here. All you're going to want to do is just head up here and create a new project. Um, so for this example, I'll just put in sneaker server, um, no organization, and then create. Uh, you're going to have to wait probably about a minute before it actually pops up, since these are my other ones, not the actual one that we're going to be using. Once it's popped up, you're going to want to click on it and open it up. And this is what you're going to be using. Then you're going to head over down to compute, compute engine, VM instances. It's going to take a bit to load up, um, so just wait for that. All right, after a bit, once it finally loads in, you're just going to want to hit create. And here's where you're going to be putting in all the settings and stuff. So for name, you can just do sneaker server um, region, wherever you want to have your server at. So Northern Virginia is pretty much the closest you're going to get to um, Chicago if that's where you want yours located. And then there's the zones, which uh, it doesn't really matter which one you put, just put whichever one. I haven't really looked most into which one's the closest to Chicago, but I don't think they're going to be that big of a difference. Machine type, here's where you can put in your CPU. So, for example, two CPUs. Um, and then boot disk, this is one of the most important parts where you're going to want to change this from Debian down to a Windows Server. Um, I use uh, Windows Server 2016 Data Center Core, or Data Center I mean, and select. And then come down to allow default access, allow HTTP traffic, allow HTTPS traffic. And I think that should be it. You don't need to change any of these settings. Um, once you do that, just hit create and it's going to take a while and I'll come back once it's created. Okay, once the server's finished being created, you're just going to want to come over to where it says connect and this little arrow drop down. Hit set Windows password and just put your username as whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to put Jalen um, and then you're going to hit set and it's going to take a while and it's going to generate you a random password that you're going to have to keep and you won't be able to change so here's this password for this server and it doesn't matter because I'm just going to destroy this server so it doesn't matter if you guys can see it but so I just copy that password I'm going to put it in this tab so I don't lose it and hit close once you have that now you can actually connect to the server so go down since you're on Windows into the search bar and just type in remote desktop connection mine just comes up after remote open that up and right here you're gonna have to copy in the IP to um, the computer tab hit show options and then type in whatever username you set and hit connect it's gonna pop up this Windows security um, more choices use a different account and then type in the username and password so Jalen and then the password that I just got um, password and I can hit remember me so I don't have to do this next time Okay, and it will log you in. You'll get a little warning sign. Um, doesn't really matter. Hit don't ask me again for connections to this computer and hit yes. Now is actually going to open up um, the server that you're going to be using and now you're remotely connected to it. So the first time it starts up, it's going to take a while. Uh, it's going to have to 
load a lot of things and install a few things. So that's going to be a bit. Um, I'm going to come back when that's all done. Okay, once the server actually started up, um, server manager is going to automatically open. Uh, this you can just hit no, it doesn't really matter. And it's going to have to download more things and you're going to have to do a few more settings. But I'm um, just letting you know it's going to take a while once the server is actually started for server manager to load up and everything else to pop up. So just be patient and wait for that to happen. Okay, once your server manager is all loaded in and it's opened up to the dashboard, you're going to want to hit add rules and features and then next 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 again next one more time and you're on features you're gonna wanna hit network framework 3.5 features and then next install and now you're gonna have to wait for this install so I'll be back after that uh, while the features installing what you can do is head over to local server and then IE enhanced security configuration click that and turn that off otherwise you won't be able to use Internet Explorer and download whatever you want to download hit OK and then continue to wait for the ta or the rules and features to install now you're gonna wanna actually download Project Destroyer and set it up on your server so head over to Internet Explorer and type in the download link which is shopify.projectdestroyer.com slash download click on that and it will automatically pop up and hit run and it's going to download and then you're going to hit run again and now it's actually going to run the installer so you just have to wait for that alright now that it's downloaded all you have to do is put your key in and you're ready to use it just as you would on your normal computer just make sure obviously before you put in your key on here you deactivate it on your home computer otherwise it won't work and also when you're done using it on a server make sure to deactivate the key so you don't accidentally delete the instance or shut off the server and not be able to log back on in your home computer. If that does happen however you can always PM key resetter and just reset your key through there or PM any of us mods and we'll reset it for you. Um, thanks for watching guys I hope this helped you guys set up a server and remember if you guys ever have any questions just PM me through slack and I'll make sure to help you guys out. Peace.